Hi, I'm Reba Hervis, Artistic Director at Overshadowed Theatrical Productions, and this is From the Wings. Today, I want to talk to you a little bit about the modern audience and the difference between a theater audience today and when this whole big thing first started. During the reign of Queen Elizabeth, public theater began a transformation to becoming professional theater. Actors were considered to be low-life scum, but when Queen Elizabeth started to take an interest in the arts, actors began to rise in their social status. What do we know about this particular time in history with theater? Well, we do know that Shakespeare was one of the most prominent playwrights of the 16th and 17th century. And we also know that it is connected to the reign of Queen Elizabeth. We also probably are familiar with the fact that Shakespeare performed in the Globe Theater. Now, prior to this time, it had been destroyed and it was being reconstructed. It became a home of Shakespeare. He wrote many plays and was able to perform to all kinds of audiences at that particular time. Now, think about this. You perform as an actor and you're in front of your friends and maybe some neighbors. What about the President of the United States if you found out that he was in your audience? Well, Shakespeare performed quite often for the Queen. I can't even imagine doing something like that. But to Shakespeare, it was perfectly normal to have that opportunity to do that. Now, let's take it a little bit further. If Queen Elizabeth's in the audience, is there a certain kind of decorum that everybody followed? You would think so if they had Queen Elizabeth sitting with them, that they would have a certain amount of decorum, but not so much. They clapped whenever they wanted to. They cheered. They booed. They brought their food and they ate fruit. <laughs> And they even threw it at the stage. So commoners would pay a penny to get to go into the Globe Theater and stand and watch. But the people who could afford to pay more for their price of the ticket would get to sit on the stage itself and become thoroughly immersed in the experience. And one of the things that makes Shakespeare so brilliant as an author is that he wrote for all of them. It didn't matter if you were wealthy or poor, there was something in Shakespeare's work that you could find that related to you. So what about today's audiences? Samuel Taylor in his slim volume, My Life with the Shakespeare Cult, writes about how theater today differs from Shakespeare's day. And he says, I mean, look, every convention of your average modern theater serves to make people passive, docile, distanced from the play and from one another, almost entirely erased. We've taught American audiences where to sit. We give them a potty break. We tell them to shut up and turn off anything and all that might make any kind of noise. We provide them no reason to ever have to interact with the person that's seated next to them. The pacification is profound. We don't even trust them to unwrap a sucker in the theater. We imply in a thousand ways that everything has been worked out in advance, encouraging total passivity of body, mind, and spirit. And then we turn the lights off and expect them to listen to hard, complex, antiquated verse poetry that relies on an active re relationship. Can we really blame them for becoming disengaged? But is it okay for Hugh Jackman or Patti Lapone or any of them to reach out to the audience and take the phone away from them, which has happened, or make comments to them about, hey, do you want to get up here with me? I don't know. The question is up to you. What do you think? Our audiences are vastly different and have changed over time. But is it a little bit our own fault? because of the way our society has progressed and how visual we are and how technically astute we are, that maybe we ought to be trying to find something that will help the audience engage a little bit more. And maybe it's a little bit our own fault if they don't do it because we didn't hold their attention. I don't know. 
worst comes to worst, I can always look at you and say, hey, did you want to talk? Come on up here with me and talk on your phone up here. Until next time, this is just me talking to you from the wings.